Welcome back to another practice with Mr. Aleman. Uh, today we're going to read Seed, Work in a Seed Shop. Uh, make sure you pay attention. That's one of the rules. Your eyes on the screen. Make sure you are reading the words along with me. That way we can make this practice effective. Make sure you follow my little arrow. And that's all we need. We're going to read this story three times. Make sure you practice. This practice should not take you more than 15 minutes. If you do it every single day, I can assure you that you will become an expert on this story. So we're going to read first for accuracy. What do I mean? By saying accuracy is that I want you to do zero mistakes. Okay. Second time, we're going to read it again. We're going to time ourselves. And then we're going to read it one more time, timing ourselves and see how fast can we read it. We are supposed to read the story within two minutes. Two minutes, yes, no errors. And let's aim for zero mistakes, my friends. Okay, we always start by the title. Follow my arrow. <coughs> Get ready. Seed worked in a seed shop. Seed had a job. He worked in a seed shop. That shop had lots of little plants. The boss of the shop had a bad leg, so she walked with a cane. When she was not walking with her cane, she left her cane in a big can near the door. One day, the boss said, I must hop in the truck and go to the other side of town. You stay here and take care of the shop. So the boss got her cane from the can and went to the truck. When she got in her truck, she said, There is a pile of notes on the table take care of them. After the boss left, Sid went to the table and began to read those notes. Here is what one note said. Send ten pine trees. But Sid did not read those words. Here is what he said. Send ten pin trees. Then he looked around the shop for pins. He stuck the pins in sticks. He made ten little trees of pins. Then he said, I don't know what anybody wants with pin trees, but I will send them out. And he did. Then he picked up the next note. It said, Fix the window pane. But here is what Sid said when he looked at the words. Fix the window pan. Sid looked around the shop for a window pan. He said, I can't see a window pan, so I will make one. And he did. He made a big tin pan. He nailed it over the window. Then he said to himself, I am doing a fine job. More to come. Okay, that was our first story. Let's go ahead and read our second attempt. Before I do so, I will show you the picture of Seed. Here he is. And he's doing those pine trees, not pine trees, as he was supposed to read in the note. It's very important to learn our words. That way we don't get confused as Sid did. Okay, please be ready. We are going to time ourselves in this second story or second attempt. I have my timer ready. We are going to read no mistakes. If I have any mistakes, just tally it up. Make sure you have your book or notebook. That way you can tell Mr. Aleman you had a mistake on this word. But notice that I will not stop 
And this is what I want you to do as well. If you got a mistake, you continue reading. Then we will correct it. Get ready. <clears throat> we start by the title. Let's go. Sid worked in a seed shop. Sid had a job. He worked in a seed shop. That shop had lots of little plants. The boss of the shop had a bad leg, so she walked with a cane. When she was not walking with her cane, she left her cane in a big can near the door. One day, the boss said, I must hop in the truck and go to the other side of town. You stay here and take care of the shop. So the boss got her cane from the can and went to the truck. When she got in her truck, she said, There is a pile of notes on the table. Take care of them. After the boss left, Sid went to the table and began to read those notes. Here is what one note said, send 10 pine trees. But Sid did not read those words. Here is what he said, send 10 pine trees. Then he looked around the shop for pins. He stuck the pins in sticks. He made 10 little trees of pins. Then he said, I don't know what anybody wants with pin trees, but I will send them out. And he did. Then he picked up the next note. It said, fix the window pane, but here is what Sid said. When he looked at the words, fix the window pan. Sid looked around the shop for a window pan. He said, I can't see a window pan, so I will make one. And he did. He made a big tin pan. He nailed it over the window. Then he said to himself, I am doing a fine job. More to come. And stop. <gasps> We just finished reading the story. This second time, we didn't read as fast as we want, but we still read it fast. It took us 2 minutes and 12 seconds. So, we have to read it one more time. This more time, this third time, we're going to read it either on, either on 2 minutes or below 2 minutes. Take a deep breath. And here we go. Let me reset my timer. Ready? Go! Sid worked in a seed shop. Sid had a job. He worked in a seed shop. That shop had lots of little plants. The boss of the shop had a bad leg, so she walked with a cane. When she was not walking with her cane, she left her cane in a big can near the door. One day, the boss said, I must hop in the truck and go to the other side of town. You say, you stay here and take care of the shop. So the boss got her cane from the can and went to the truck. When the, she got in her truck, <coughs> when she got in her truck, <coughs> She said, there is a pile of notes on the table. Take care of them. After the boss left, Sid went to the table and began to read those notes. Here is what one note said, send 10 pine trees. But Sid did not read those words. Here is what he said, send 10 pine trees. Then he looked around the shop for pins. He stuck the pins in sticks he made 10 little trees of pins, then he said, I don't know what anybody wants with pin trees, but I will send them out. And he did. Then he picked up the next note. It said, fix the window pane. But there is what he, here is what Sid said. When he looked at the words, fix the window pane. Sid looked around the shop 
for a window pan, he said, I can't see a window pan, so I will make one. And he did. He made a big pan, he nailed it over the window, then he said to himself, I am doing a fine job. More to come. Oh my goodness, who? We barely read the story on those two minutes. Sorry, I made a small stop. There was some, I, need to, I needed to clear my throat. Uh, but go ahead and read the story one more time. If you did not make it, uh, again, it should only take you like 10 minutes to read the whole story or to do the whole exercise with me. Hope you had fun and a beautiful day as well. See you until then.